This is Keith Gribbins with Compact Equipment. Welcome to my new video series. Hello machine heads! Welcome to my home office in Strongsville, Ohio. This is once again Keith Gribbins, uh, publisher of Compact Equipment. Uh, I have been a trade journalist in the off-highway construction equipment industry for the last 20 years. Uh, so what that means is I spend most of my year traveling the countryside, operating cool new machines, talking to the engineers and the product managers behind those machines, and getting to know the operators that use those machines all day long. But since March, I've been stuck at home, viewing the world from the monitor behind me, and spending a lot of time, a lot of time, with my family. To get closer to my viewers, readers, and watchers, and to maybe get away from my family a little, I created this short form video series where I'm gonna talk about some of the coolest new machines coming out in the industry in just sort of a quick hit format. Let's start off with one of my favorite excavator brands, Takeuchi, who's released two new machines that you should be excited about. Let's get into this. Takeuchi has been revamping and growing its excavator lineup in 2020 in a big way. The company now has 14 excavators you can choose from, ranging from its smallest digger, the TB210, up to the TB2150, which is the brand's largest and most powerful excavator. This fall, the company added the TB257FR and TB370 to its Mini X crew. Let's start with the TB257FR, which features a patented side to side offset boom, which is pretty cool. The side to side boom enables the unit to dig offset to the right or left side without needing to reposition the machine. Another advantage of this system is the boom's ability to be stowed over center. This allows the TB257FR to perform a full rotation just outside the width of the track. This makes it ideal for working in a variety of combined job sites including road and bridge work, city streets, and in between buildings. The TB257FR's operating weight is 12,765 pounds, its dig depth is 12 feet 9.3 inches, it has a maximum reach of 20 feet 4.7 inches, and it sports a bucket breakout force of 10,431 pounds. That's all powered by a Kubota turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 52.3 horsepower and 141.5 foot-pounds of torque. Let's move on to the TB370 unit, which is actually a bigger deal for Takeuchi. It's the first in Takeuchi's 300 series compact excavator line. The TB370 is a bigger machine in the 6 to 7 ton class. Customers for this unit might include general contractors, landscapers, utility contractors, and the rental industry. The TB370 has an operating weight of 14,793 pounds. It has a dig depth of 13 feet, 4.8 inches. Its maximum reach is 21 feet, 11.3 inches. And it has an impressive bucket breakout force of 14,613 pounds. This machine can dig. Powering the TB370 is another Kubota turbocharged diesel engine that is tier four final and delivers 56.8 horsepower and 157 foot-pounds of torque. For added versatility, power, and efficiency, the TB370 has a load-sensing hydraulic system that provides over 31 gallons of auxiliary hydraulic flow to the attachment. That means this unit can power some serious implements like brush cutters and breakers. As the first model in the 300 series lineup, the TB370 cab has a wide range of state-of-the-art features including an 8-inch touchscreen color monitor, integrated air conditioning, and a Bluetooth radio. Both of these new excavators are standout new additions to the busy mini excavator market in America. I am super excited to operate both of those units uh, once they become available, but until then, uh, if you're stuck at home like me, feel free to surf over to compactequip.com to learn more about Takuchi excavators or excavators in general. Um, and then feel free to surf over to our YouTube page uh, and click subscribe so you can watch more of these great, great videos. Um, until then, this is Keith Gribbins again, publisher of Compact Equipment Magazine. Uh, be productive, be safe, uh, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for chatting. Bye now.